The time is now 11.45. Fun station will close in 15 minutes. Okay, but so the Chinese finger traps are actually gonna be 25 tickets and you only have 10 left. I can get you a Tootsie Roll though. Do I look like I want a Tootsie Roll, you fucking asshole? Do you want cheese on that, sir? Obviously. Lots of cheese. Okay, sir, just say when. Sir. Just a little more. Sir, I think that's enough. More. More. Jesus Christ, sir, it, it's enough. My fucking god. Excuse me? These bats are filthy. That sounds like a personal problem. One station will close in five minutes. Please collect your belongings and exit through the front door. Attention all guests. Front station is now closed. Please exit at the front door of the Um, we're closed. Everybody get the fuck out. Hey, Sev. Hey. Here you go. I need you to fill up the go-karts, and I am out for the evening. Cool. I'll see you tomorrow morning, Ricky. Oh. Do not lose them. Oh, I'll make sure you never see them again. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, Arnold. You posing with me tonight? Ugh. You know, I'm so tired. It's been a long day, let me tell you. The nacho cheese goblins, full fucking force. <laughs> and don't hate me, but I can't help you close tonight. I have places to be, you know how it is. Wow, places to be, huh? Oh, whatever am I gonna do without Arnold to help me close? I just don't think I can do it. You know, whatever, I'm sure you'll survive. Here are the kitty train keys. Thanks. Bye, bitch. Bye, Arnold. Bye, Queen. You're the best. <laughs> Attention racers, welcome to the Fun Station Speedway. Please listen to the following rules. You are driving at your own risk. There is no bumping other racers during I swear, work. this dit's talking to me again. I'm just so sick of the people who work here, and I'm so sick of this place and the people who come here. I had a guy ask me for nachos today, and he would not let me stop pointing this goddamn cheese. I mean, it's not even real cheese. What type, like, why? You're driving at your own risk. There is no bumping other racers during or after the race. Please listen to the following rules. For your safety, please stay seated at all times. If your vehicle stops moving, Please raise your hand and an attendant will be with you shortly. When you come to a stop, 
Please remain seated until told to stand by an attendant. Once again, you are driving at your own risk. Connie, you scared the shit out of me. I just wanted to say bye before I left, okay? <laughs> Sorry. I had a closing shift with Ashley. I'm jealous to think of, like, you know, all the TikToks and intellectual conversations you guys are going to be having. Oh, shut up, you asshole. I swear Ricky purposefully puts me with her for every closing shift, and I'd just be delighted to know why. I mean, it's probably because he likes to schedule people with similar IQs. Oh, right. Um, the girl going to Stanford, closing with the girl going to the highly prestigious University of Phoenix. They're practically the same caliber, right? <laughs> Anyways, did you see that Sarah was here tonight? Wait, really? Yes, how did you not see her? She was literally staring me the fuck down from the concession seating. She's indisposed, I swear. Yeah, I mean, she's probably still pissed, <laughs> you know? Pissed about what? It's not my fault. I don't understand why she's had some personal vendetta against me ever since the results came out. I mean, there were multiple other people in our class who also didn't get admitted. Do I, do I look like the head of admissions to you? No, I, I mean, she's a legacy, right? I'm sure her parents weren't happy about the fact that she didn't get in and you did, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they wanted to kill me. Anyways, I mean, you should just be proud of yourself. Like, who fucking cares about Sarah, right? In a week, her and high school are gonna be a distant memory. I guess you're right. Yeah, I know I should know this, but when did you say you leave again? Oh, um, Saturday. How about you? Next week. Damn. At least we're only stuck at the shithole for a few more days. <laughs> right, yeah, no, I know. I was just thinking the same exact thing. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> although, I mean, I, f I feel like I might actually miss it slightly. Really? I'm not going to miss anything about Fun Station. I literally hate this place. <laughs> well, I mean... Not everything. There's one thing I'm gonna miss. Anyways, yeah, I just have to clean out the tokens from the coin pusher and then I can go. Um, can I have Ricky's keys? Uh, yeah. Here. Oh, thank you. Savannah. So I'm texting my new boyfriend, Jordan, and he told me that Tommy is having this like party tonight. And I was thinking that maybe after work, we could like, well, maybe you could like meet me there, you know, put a little something on. Um, you know, like, you just can't go out looking like that, right? You know, I think I'm good, actually. Not really my scene, anyway. I think I'm just gonna finish cleaning and go home. Okay, suit yourself, I guess. Mm, that's so good. Hey, we're closed. 
Hey, I said we're close, asshole. Ashley? Ashley, did you say something? I had my headphones in.
you like the custom I chose for this very special occasion? You see, it's a metaphor. A metaphor for what? What? A metaphor for what? What? You scream. I swear to God, I will gut you like a fish. He said, a metaphor for what? Don't act like you don't get it. A devil? A red evil devil? Red for Stanford's colors, of course. And the devil to represent the evil satanic wench that you are for taking my daughter's goddamn spot? You're dumb. <laughs> now you're getting it. Oh, no fucking way. You're Sarah's dad? <laughs> you think that's just funny? Taking someone's rightfully owned spot? It's a tradition! And it's all because of people like you that my family's legacy gets completely shattered. What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know. I know all about you. So Van Spleek, the poor little girl from the white trash trailer park family who somehow managed to get into Stanford? Because it's all political now, isn't it? You gotta make room for those first generations. Those poor families who didn't have anyone smart enough to get to a real college. Let's, let's make it out of high school. Oh, fuck you! Did you just spit at me? Fucking swine. You and your whole family. You're never gonna get away with this. Oh, but I will. And when you're dead, my daughter, she's gonna take your spot and she'll get off the wait list. What? And that's the reason you're gonna die. You should have known better than to take my daughter's spot. What do you mean, off the wait list? You can't save yourself now, little lady. Because once you're dead... How can you shut up for two seconds? What do you mean, off the wait list? You realize there's literally no correlation by high school between the admitted students and the ones on the wait list, right? you getting? How much do I need to dumb it down for you? There isn't an individual waitlist for every high school. There's one list with all the waitlists and applicants, you Michael Myers ripoff fucking psychopath! Shut the fuck up! I'm too deep in this now. Your mind tricks, they're not gonna work on me, girl. You get any less words. Just do it then. You already killed everybody else. Arnold, Ashley. And I don't even get to think about where you offed Connor. Who? Hey, asshole. Forgetting these? I came back as soon as I realized you forgot them. You saved me! Yeah. Yeah, let's get those chains out. I mean, he's absolutely insane for that. Like, how could he actually think that the wait list was on, like, a high school by high school basis? <laughs> You know, I wish I could tell you. What a fucking moron. <laughs> so do you think you're still gonna leave on Saturday? Connor. Just kiss me, you fucking idiot.
So should I like call the cops? Wait. You didn't call the cops before you came into the storage room? I, no, I... Is that not what we're waiting on? Oh, give me that. <laughs>